YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome to an online battle for uh, Total War Warhammer. Now, some of you may be saying, "Air, hey, where's the where's the legendary West Rome campaign? Where's the Rome 2? Where's the Shogun 2? Okay, a lot of you are asking me about these other videos. I have not given up on those other videos. I have been playing those games for years, and I am so elated to have something new that I enjoy, and I'm pretty happy with uh, Warhammer at the moment. That it's it's made me not really want to jump to those uh, other games uh, at the moment. I will go back to them, so be patient. But right now, I'm just having too much fun right here. Uh, I'm going to play as the Greenskins in this online battle uh, against my uh, opponent over here. And um, he was actually uh, talking to me about Heir of Carthage, and he didn't realize that I was the Heir of Carthage. <laughs> I was using the name Patchy, and he was like, oh, you must be a fan. And I'm, and I'm like, uh, yeah, he's okay. And anyway, I was just chatting back and forth. A real nice guy that I'm playing against here. My front line is Savage Orcs. His front line is obviously Spearmen and Polearm units. Cause that's all uh, Bretonia has. He's got his... Uh, he's got a cavalry, like, lord there. And then over here, I've got some boar boys engaging Knights of the Realm. I don't expect to do particularly well against Knights of the Realm. They're shock cavalry. But I had spears, and I'm going to try and support. And then he had cavalry that Vanguard deployed behind me, these Pegasus Knights and Mounted Yeoman Archers. So actually, Bretonia ends up being a very mobile faction. Um, in fact, I would recommend extreme caution if trying to use the Dwarves against Bretonia. I find that to be a very tough matchup. So my Boar Boys get absolutely wrecked. Over here, though, his Knights of the Realm get wrecked because I have the Spear support. But he's got all these extra um, Mounted Yeomen and stuff like that. So the fight right now is really rough for me. I bring my giant forward, and he just he just eats a big one. I think maybe they used a spell on him or something because, I mean, his, his hit points just withered and disappeared before he did anything. He got like five kills on standard spear infantry. He did terrible. Um, so waste of money right there. Um, so things aren't really looking good for me right now. I've got my... Um, I've got my general over here fighting off some mounted yeomen, and my guys aren't beating down these uh, polearm units as quick as I would like um, because they have good defense. And you can see over here, my whole flank starts to shatter and collapse because the green skins are pretty shaky. However, over here, I've got these boar boys free. Uh, I managed to get some pretty decent cavalry engagements, and right here, I'm going to slam into the back of these. These polearms were holding off quite nicely, um, but with these boar boys behind them, they're going to start wavering really quickly. And uh, so I'm going to be able to mop up that fight, which is going to help me immensely. And there's a few other fights that are going okay-ish for me. Out here, he's losing some Knights of the Realm um, to my Savage Orcs. Uh, but he's got plenty of uh, Spearmen at Arms. And because of his archers, he's doing a pretty good job of cutting down my men. I do have two Goblin Spider Riders off over here. This, this is driving me crazy. I'm using the debug camera, but the debug camera has some serious issues in um, replays where it just does not scroll in and out at any decent speed. So I'm going to actually go to uh, controls and I'm going to switch to the standard camera. Let's go back. It should be off. Yeah. Okay. I'm off the debug camera, but I can actually zoom up and down quick enough now. So yeah, I've got these spider riders and they're firing away pretty much the whole time, though they're really not doing a whole lot. I have They've been pretty underwhelming for me. But, uh, yeah, you can see that I, I start to wrap this up, and I was like, man, I'm going to totally lose this battle. So I wasn't real happy with my prospects here. I don't have a whole lot left. I do have a uh, goblin... Um, I think I have a goblin shaman. Yeah, he's right here. I used him at first to buff some of the abilities of my men, but I haven't gotten to use him a whole lot since. And, uh, again, you can see my boar, my boar uh, uh, leader here fighting against the Bretonian leader here who is mounted on his uh, horse. And he's actually doing pretty well versus me. But I think in the end, my guy was beat up from other fights because right now he's laying into this guy pretty good. And I start using his special abilities. And then he really starts laying into the uh, uh, the enemy there. This My Night Goblin Shaman is uh, getting a little bit beat up. These Yeoman Horse Archers are a pain in the butt. Uh, but because my Boar Boys survived over here, I'm actually riding down a bunch of his uh, units. And it's going to give me some much-needed mobility. So I've got the two Spider Riders, and I've got uh, two Boar Boys left over here. And this is a key moment in the Battle Tier 2. He's using his Mounted Yeoman to try and help. And I'm taking a lot of arrows, but I'm going to be able to kill his Lord. This fight was definitely in his favor, and he should have gotten away from my Lord with his. But I think he was banking here that he could bring me down because he had the uh, Archers to help. But in fact, it's his Lord that breaks first, and then I kill him. 
And when your lord dies, it puts a huge hit on your leadership or morale. And you can see that all of a sudden, just all over the battlefield, Bretonian flags fleeing. And I know that my lord's about to die, so I'm trying to run him away. I get caught on some of these routing units. Uh, but I'm going to run away as quick as I can. And you can see that this one basically just turns into a leadership victory for me. I ended up with more leadership in the end. These polearm guys held out annoyingly long against uh, a lot of my infantry. Fortunately, I was able to take care of that. And here I'm going to use a little bit of a spell from my, my goblin shaman to try and finish off these... Um, these yeoman, mounted yeoman, but I think they they moved off. I didn't get to use the spell because my guy was engaged. Look at my uh, knight, uh, knight shaman over here trying to fight off all these mounted cavalrymen. He's got enough hit points that he'll do so. This is a pretty cool looking character, you have to admit. This whole background of the map is pretty cool. This map was pretty neat. I like this map. It, it had kind of like a, a flat area in the center that played out really nice. Um, and I've got time to show you one more replay too. Let's jump into this other one. Except I can't remember which one's which. I think it was three here. Yeah, so this one was where I played Empire against Greenskins. And here I've got a couple of Demigrift Knights. Um, and these are the anti-infantry version. I thought I had brought the ones with halberds, but these are just the ones with lances. Uh, they're still going to be good units. Demigrift Knights uh, have some pretty good hitting power. They are very expensive, but used properly they can be pretty good. And the ones with halberds can just wreck enemy monsters. Very good for that. So I've got an, actually a, a no-missile army here with um, the Empire. I've got several spearmen. I've got a main line of great swords. I've got several sword units. I've got a bright wizard here because I like some of the abilities the bright wizard has. I have a general of the empire mounted on an imperial griffin. So this is not Karl Franz on Deathclaw. Just to make that clear. And that's pretty much my army. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so my, my goal here was that my demigriff knights could help against um, the flanks. And um, I had actually, again, thought these guys were the halberd units. Um, and if they were, they would also be good against uh, large units. Now, they're still going to be okay against monstrous units. Um, they're just better when they have the, uh, when they have the uh, halberds. So, yep. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to move forward because I don't have any ranged units. My opponent's got these Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers. And they're going to do some damage to my Demigriff Knights. I don't like that. So I'm going to chase them off rather than just take fire. I don't know if these guys have Parthian shot. Yeah, they do. Anyway, I'm going to catch a couple of them here and run them down. And just basically make him pay for the little bit of damage that he's doing to my Demigrip Knights. And they are doing damage. I don't... I mean, it's it's definitely frustrating. You can see that uh, they're doing some hit point damage, even if it's minor. I don't like that hit point damage. I'm trying to get my guys loose there. But yeah, I have to approach the Orc Army because I don't have any... Um, I don't have any uh, ranged units. Now, his main line is Orc Biggins. Decent infantry. He's got Savage Orcs and Black Orcs on the flanks. So Black Orcs are definitely a tough infantry unit. Very well armored, uh, very deadly infantry unit. And then he's got two trolls for support in the center too. So monstrous infantry, and he's also got an Orc Shaman here. So he's going to have uh, some magic of his own. On the flanks, he's got um, some Goblin Wolf Riders, which are very light cavalry. Um, they're very fast, but very light, very fragile. They're really best just for running down skirmishers and artillery. So here comes the fight. I'm going to focus on the flank where I think my great swords can gain some advantage. Um, I don't know how they stack up against black orcs, but with the support of a bright wizard, I'm hoping that they'll do well. And I do have my bright wizard over here. You can see I'm going to use... Wow, check out the big stomping my spearmen took over there. Didn't do a whole lot, fortunately. So yeah, I, I go ahead and buff my guys here. It's going to give them uh, extra missile damage and weapon damage. Weapon damage, obviously. And then these guys get extra melee defense and armor piercing, which will be very helpful. You can see that the black orcs just get absolutely savaged by my great swords because of the support. My demi griff knights are going to start tearing apart these goblin wolf riders. Now over here, again, I'm going to charge into the black orcs with my demi griff knights just to kind of hold them still. I'm going to get some really nice damage done, and then I'm going to follow up with my uh, uh, imperial griffin over here. And, uh, yeah, the orcs are working on me over here, and they're doing better on that flank, but this flank has started out pretty decently for me over here. The goblin wolf riders are getting wrecked. The black orcs got savaged pretty bad initially, though it's starting to uh, kind of even out a little bit more over here. I do still have the bright wizard. My center, though, gets just absolutely crushed. I used my bright wizard, and the spell ended up hitting more of my men than the orcs. I, I had the right idea, but it just did not work out. I ended up killing a ton of my own men with that spell, and I ended up routing my whole center. And I was like, well, crap, I lost this battle too. Um, so, but I was like, all right, I'm going to fight as best I can. I'm going to get rid of those black orcs real quick with my, uh, with my uh, leader, and I did. And uh, now I'm just going to try and wrap up as much of this flank and the other as I can because my center is completely collapsed. 
my spears are going to have to try and hold off against these orc biggins. Uh, but I'm able to use my demigriff knights here to get a very decisive rear charge on a lot of these orcs. So that should free up some of my long swords. And the demigriff knights are going to wreck a lot of these units. And then I've also got my, uh, my general here. And the general has been doing some good work for me here. He's getting a lot of work done. Now the enemy uh, general is here too, and it's Grimgor Ironhide. He's not going to be easy to kill, so I'm going to spend some time ignoring him, actually. And if I would have had the Halberd Demigriffs, it would have been a lot more useful. So now this flank gets wrapped up too. So I've lost my center and the uh, other flank. He sends his Orc Shaman out here chasing my routing units. I don't even realize these guys came back from battle, to be honest. So I forget about them for a long time. A botched opportunity for me, and I'm running... Uh, cycle charges on uh, Grimgore right now. And I also see some regrouped orc units out here. So yeah, I'll cycle in with my demigriffs and then cycle in with my uh, um, with my griffin, imperial griffin. Just trying to do as much damage to Grimgore. And then out here, I'm trying to surround and wrap up this orc biggin unit as quickly as possible before more reinforcements come. You see these regrouped black orcs are going to get savaged by my uh, my demigriff knights. And then a lot of these other units that are regrouping, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy them in their entirety with my Demigriff so that they can't come back to the battle. And here I'm in a just straight up fight against Grimgor. This is not really recommended to be in a straight fight against Grimgor. I'm doing a lot of damage to him, but he's damaging me faster and I'm going to have to flee. He manages to get his trolls over here and that's unfortunate for me because it's going to do a lot of damage to my great swords. If I would have had my Demigriff Knights or the uh, Griffin over here to help would have been a lot more useful. Look at those trolls vomiting everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, anyway, the trolls aren't super powerful, so they're starting to go down a little. Um, I've done some good damage, but my guy's getting pretty damaged. I'm going to have to get out of there. A lot of my units are starting to come back from routing. In fact, I'm going to go chasing the Goblin Shaman at this point, or the Orc Shaman. And he's not really going to like being in this fight. I mean, he's going to be decent in melee, but he is a wizard, not, not a melee specialist, I don't think. I don't think he's a melee specialist. He's not. Just a spellcaster, so that's going to be rough for him. Trying to get rid of the trolls and other units here. My Demigriff Knights are going to come back, plow through the back of his Savage Orcs, and just keep going to work. So doing as much work as I can back here with my Demigriffs, kind of charging back and forth. I have both units here. That one plowed down a Black Orc unit that had regrouped. And I'm getting a ton of work done versus its infantry with my Demigriffs. In fact, they are right now the only chance that I have of winning this battle, so I have to keep them mobile and deadly. His spider riders have been an absolute nuisance. Fortunately, they've only gotten 21 kills, but they've probably dealt a lot of health damage. This regroup force here gets rid of the orc shaman for now. Um, but I've got to be careful because Grimgore is still on the battlefield. Fortunately, he can't get to my... Um, he really can't get to my leader because he flies. And right now, my opponent doesn't have anything to counter my flying unit. So I've got Demigriff Knights still. I'm going to have to use them well. But you can see that, again, my, uh, my great swords get routed off the battlefield. And they are broken. Just gonna keep my, um, I'm gonna keep my uh, general mobile, and I'm gonna bring him over here closer to my bright wizard. My bright wizard has a little bit of magic left. You can see here, 14 left. So I have an opportunity to buff one of my units, and I have a great sword right here, and that's the unit I would like to use those buffs on because it has the most offensive capability. Just getting my demigriff knights away from these spider riders, and then my other demigriff knight is at the ready over here as well. My opponent had a couple of regrouped units. He's not moving them right now, fortunately for me. And I see a spell inbound for my men. I tried to move away fast enough, but I didn't. And fortunately for me, that just caused a lot of damage. It didn't necessarily kill all those guys that it knocked down. It just did hit point damage. So here I'm going to go ahead and buff this uh, great sword unit and get a charge into the orc infantry. So they're all buffed up. My guys are ready for battle now because that is some pretty vicious orc infantry, and we're going to need all the help we can get. So you can see there that I get plus 22% weapon damage with the great swords. Should help me out, but I don't know. I'm really not getting any kills. So my guys are just getting absolutely savage. So I thought I did some good there, but maybe not. I'm going to bring my, uh, my general around, and I used one last bit of magic here on these swordsmen, which gave them extra melee defense and armor. That actually will help out because it'll help them hold up in that fight. While I can use the uh, abilities on my general here that actually hurt some of the enemy uh, morale, while attacking them from behind with extra force. And that hurts the uh, leadership of the Greenskins, followed up with a Demigriff charge right there. And the orc, uh, the orc morale here in the center is going to start hurting pretty bad. And I've actually now pulled this back to a winnable battle, even though it's still going to be very close. So if I can keep this up, uh, I have a chance. The biggest problem is Grimgor here. He's still at half health. But again, these Demigriff Knights right here just charging through these uh, orc biggins. 
And I mean, I've just had some excellent success against the uh, orc infantry with the uh, demigriffs. This unit, though, is kind of standing still, but they're they're okay. They're getting the job done. This demigriff unit's still alive too. Uh, my general, though, is under half health, and the orc shaman's still alive. I'm trying to remember if I got my bright wizard. Yeah, he's still out here. He's still alive. So I'm I'm just he's not worth much to me, but I don't want him dead at the moment. He could be handy in the late game as a melee unit, so that's why I'm kind of hanging on to him. Using my Demigriff Knights and my General to kind of get some cheeky charges here on Grimgore, who wasn't turned around. But uh, there we fortunately knocked him over. Didn't take any health, uh, health damage. So doing pretty decent for the moment. Again, Demigriff Knights over here taking out Spider Riders and Wolf Riders. These guys are not going to be very good versus Demigriff Knights. And I've got infantry to help support my Demigriff Knights here as well. So we're going to end up taking these guys out. So it's a desperate fight right now. Both sides are very weakened. And I'm just still trying to hammer on uh, Grimgore. And it is not easy. I've been charging cavalry in. I've been charging my general in and out. Um, it's been rough. These trolls came back from routing. So I decided to go focus on them. And we end up getting them right back and, and gone, fortunately. One of my Demigriff Knights, though, is down to only two units at this point. But the trolls are gone. There's a lot of other orcs that are gone. My Bright Wizard is still alive, although, again, he's not worth much. He's just going to be here in a melee. I'm going to use these Demigriff Knights to hold off this rear charge. But it still ends up connecting with some of my swordsmen, and it'll probably route them. Actually, it didn't. Here comes Grimgore after my faction leader, so I'm just going to get the heck out of there as quick as I can. Because I don't need Grimgore all buffed up going after my faction leader. In fact, whoever loses their general at this point is going to lose the battle. And for me, I, I really don't need to lose my Demigriff Knights, but I'm down to only uh, I'm down to only six Demigriff Knights between two units. So they are all beat up. But yeah, you can see Grimgore here. He's going to end up actually routing a couple of my Demigriff Knights. I'm going to bring these infantry in to pin down Grimgore. I used my griffin to uh, run off some of these regrouped orc infantry. And that ended up working out just fine. I've still got my bright wizard, but again, I'm hesitant to throw him into combat until it's a last ditch effort. In fact, I just used, uh, or no, I just used uh, a buff there on my faction leader. We're able to put a pretty good hit on Grimgore. And he's now down pretty pretty low so we put a pretty good beating on him and now I can kind of commit to killing him because he doesn't have any other reinforcements around to help he's busy chasing off my demigriff knights and that was a big loss but like I said if Grimgore goes down right here that's going to be pretty much it and Grimgore does route and we're going to be able to chase him off so with, with Grimgore uh, leaving the battlefield and about to die this is going to be the uh, nail in the coffin so the green skins all route. So look how close this uh, this uh, battle was, though. Actually, I can't show you. I mean, it was it was down to just a few units. I had my my general, a couple of wavering spears, a bright wizard back here who was chasing off. I finally used him in uh, melee combat just to chase off a couple of orcs for a second. Look at him there, the flaming sword, feeling big about himself. Anyway, these are some good battles. Hope you all enjoyed these. Very close. I'm um, enjoying multiplayer so far. There's definitely a few people trying to make up exploits, but a lot of the people I've played against have had pretty good battles so far. Uh, the Demigriff Knights, definitely MVPs here. Um, definitely useful units, killing a ton of orcs for me. Neither one picked up any experienced chevrons, though, which means they must not have killed any units that felt particularly worth it. <laughs> Only a few kills with the Bright Wizard. Probably killed a lot more of my guys. Let's see. It doesn't say how many kills. I hate that because then I'd be able to tell how many of my own men I killed with that spell. But for my opponent, these orc biggins um, did pretty good in the center. But, I mean, if you look at his black orcs, which was a pretty substantial investment, where they get to, yeah, right here. This one did okay, but this one just got slaughtered by that great sword unit. Um, so kind of shows you what's going on. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the battles. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.